What is up everybody? So I am back today and I bring you the heroic trial guide. So this is what my team is looking like right now. I've had a little trouble with this one. So well, getting S rank at least. Um beat it, you know, first try. Like it's not very hard to beat these. It's just sometimes tricky to get S rank. Um I actually have not gotten S rank yet, but I'm probably going to have to do it in multiple tries. So I figured that I'd just go ahead and make the video um, strategy guide for you guys, just so you guys can see, um, you know, my thoughts on what to use and all that good stuff. So what we've got here is a light team. So I thought, okay, so they're only weak to wind. I do not have any wind. I have one wind unit, one. Um... And that's AOTI, so that's not going to be very useful. Um, so I thought, you know, let's make a light team. The light, I, I tried water first, um, but then light. Uh, because light, I can I can make it less resistant to light. Like, um, I can make it weaker to light, if that makes sense. I can buff and debuff my light uh, attack a lot. So I thought that I should use this. Um, I do recommend that you guys use whatever you can get the maximum amount of damage with. For example, if you have a team that can debuff, say you have a fire team and it can debuff fire, resist a lot on your opponent, buff fire a lot for you, that's going to help a lot because it's not resistant to anything. Um, Anya is resistant to magic. I mean, that makes sense, but they're not resistant to anything besides that. Um, they're only weak to... Uh, wind so what pretty much what you're going to want to do is just make a team that can maximize damage for a single element and they probably should be physical most of them at least be physical three out of four of my members are physical however when line attacks she's going to be attacking chloe instead of anya she's a single target attacker anyway so that's not a big deal but um yeah as you can see i have line for a healer you are going to want to use a healer for this for sure. So I have a line as my healer. Um, she'll also be buffing my uh, special arts gain. Um, and then we have um, Toka. She's going to be buffing and debuffing light as well as just like being a DPS. Um, so that's going to be useful. Uh, I'm going to I'm gonna switch these two. I don't know why. <laughs> um, then I have Ryu. So Ryu is going to be the debuffer. She has a light and uh, light. She has a physical and magic minus 35% debuff. Her counter is also a 45% debuff, and we're going to be able to use that permanently, which is going to be awesome. And then Chloe. So Chloe is going to be really useful just because she is a DPS as well as she blocks physical damage. Um, so that's going to be good for Anya because Anya is a an AoE attacker. Um, Chloe is a single target attacker, however, Anya is going to be attacking everyone, so it's going to be useful for those. <clears throat> so, for my assists, all I have is a... Uh, Freya is for just light resist down for my opponent. She, I don't really need the magic. I mean, the magic is good for line, but other than that, it's kind of useless for me anyway. Um, then we have Hestia. She's just for the heal, the extra heal, as well as the strength buff. Is that, if I was going for straight damage instead of just heal, I would obviously be using Artemis. Then we have Hestia for stun resist. So if you don't have this, you can use the um, Misha. There's a stun resist Misha. It's a three-star. Um, you can use her. You can use any of the three-star healers for heal if you want that. Um, you can use... In place of the Hestia in my slot four, you can use any three star. I think they're Hephaestus's, the Strength Plus, or the uh, Fizz Resist Down. I'm pretty sure there's a Fizz Resist Down three star Hephaestus. I could be wrong. But yeah, like there's three star equivalents of all of them. However, I don't know if you're going to be surviving using three stars, except for like the Misha for Stun Resist. But I don't think you're going to be surviving using a lot of three stars for this. Um,. Just a heads up. It is a little rough. So anyway, let's jump into this. Um, that's my team. Oh, also my armors. I'm using uh, swift armors. I'm using physical resist armors. However, I would recommend the earth resist armors um, because they are both earth attackers. However, Chloe is a magic attacker and Anya is a physical attacker. So earth would be a lot more useful. It would bump a, a survivability by a lot. However, I don't have those, so I'm using swift armors because um anya 
um, attacks everyone. She's an AoE attacker. So it's just going to be a little bit more useful for me, I believe. Okay, so what we're going to be doing is we're just going to be, um, we're going to be buffing. We're going to be buffing, we're going to be debuffing and buffing. So this is going to be pretty straightforward, hopefully. Um, I did wipe last time. Uh, I didn't wipe. My lion got sniped, and I did not want to go on with my lion being sniped like that. I think this goes along with what I was saying before um, about um, you being able to have better survivability with the other uh, armor, with the other armor. So, yeah, but <laughs> but should be able to survive this time, hopefully. I don't know why I wiped last time. Uh, and not the other times I've done it. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Yeah, so pretty much unless she's buffing special arts, I'm just going to be having line heal. Uh, I think that's the play right now. But yeah, as you can see, they're taking a little bit of damage. Uh, we've probably got like, what, a fifth of the health bar down. That hurt. That hurt. Chloe needs to start doing her job, man. Um... Uh, I'll try doing enlightenment. I'm not sure how well that's going to work out, though. All right. There we go. So hopefully Chloe, yeah, will buff them so they don't take quite as much damage. That would be awesome. Yes, yeah, C-Line took zero there. Chloe is a really useful unit. She's really useful for war game. Um, that 50% chance to take no damage from a physical attack, which is super nice. It's actually just, like, super nice. Um, all right. So, yeah, line coming in clutch healing. Like I said, you do need a healer. Um... Let's see. I'll just go ahead and special arts, special arts. Yeah. Uh, and I should be killing on the third special arts. Um, last time I had two special arts charged, I believe, and I used them both, and the first one killed. Uh, so we'll see what happens. It's weird that Anya's taking more damage. Did I, <laughs> do I have Anya targeted right now? That's That would be interesting. Oh, that did a lot. That did quite a bit of damage. Alright, so this is looking like a, a solid run right here. Um, I'm going to buff. I will use flash trick and that should be good. That should be good. I'm gonna keep peeling. I'm not gonna not gonna play with fire here. Um this is turn nine though, man. I I'm pretty close. Uh if I could do a little bit more damage, we would be at that. Um oh man. Yeah, we would be at the S rank if I could do a little bit more damage. Uh, and there goes the line. Wow, this is crazy. This is this is wild. Um, I'm just taking like a lot more damage than I expected, I guess. Um, I'll buff strength, I guess, and guard rate. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I'm taking a little bit more damage than I expected to take. Um, I guess from my trial runs, because my trial runs, like, I didn't take this much damage, so I guess I just wasn't expecting it, but we should be fine, I should be able to kill before the debuffs run out and everything, um, I don't have a heal, though, so that's gonna be rough, um, like I said, should be fine, should be able to kill, uh, and yeah, this is probably the, like, sloppiest throw of trial guide I've had, uh, but... I did want to get it out. This is this one's just rough for me. This one's rough for me to S rank. Or I guess to, to A rank. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> what? But, well, that's the end of the video. So, I don't know. Uh, we're just having a lot of problems today. But pretty much, 
that's what you should probably be trying to do. Just output as much damage on a single element, physical team as possible, as well as stun resist, as well as earth resist armor. If you, you know, want to craft that, I might craft that and see how it goes. Um, but all I need to do right now is beat it in nine turns and I have S rank. So do remember that you can beat it in multiple tries. Like one time you can do it without dying. One time you can do it in nine turns and that still counts as S rank. So do remember that. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully this was helpful, even though I did die. Um, one of my characters did die. I did not do it in nine turns. It was, it was crazy. It was a wild ride, but hopefully it was helpful. If you have any questions, hit me up. Um, I know somebody messaged me with a question the other day, and I will be getting back to you with uh, on that. I did not forget about you, so I know I've not messaged you back yet. It's been a crazy first week of school. I've been having class complications and stuff, so I will be getting back to you on that um, pretty soon. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, do all the good stuff, and I will see you next time. Peace.